I try to make my home bright and cheerful by my example and dedication to my family? Do I frequently consider that I must sanctify myself by faithfully fulfilling my family obligations? Do I see to it that my attention to my family is never harmed by a disorderly dedication to my professional, social, or other activities? Do I know how to yield willingly my personal preferences so as to make family life more pleasant in my home, giving myself generously to the others and forgetting myself? Do I specifically take care of my professional formation, devoting enough time and study to increase my effectiveness and prestige? Have I spent money unnecessarily out of extravagance, caprice, vanity, comfort, etc.? Have I always been fully sincere with my directors about my spiritual life and apostolate? combining a spirit of initiative and personal responsibility with a humble and wholehearted acceptance of what my directors indicate. Have I despised sacrifice in the little things of each day? Do I always strive to be orderly in my work in order to make it more effective and give greater glory to God? Have I despised sacrifice in the little things of each day? Do I do my work when I should today now, or do I deceive myself by putting it off, which is equivalent to not doing it at all? Am I careful to avoid anything unusual, annoying, or strange in my appearance or behavior that might detract from my duties or position? Have I given in to sadness, forgetting that it is an ally of the enemy? Do I always work with the joy of one who knows he is son of God? Adjutorum nostrum in Domini Domini, qui fece celli in Eteram, confiteor deumni potenti, beati Maria Semper Virgini, beati Michael and Angelo, beati Juani Baptiste, Sanctis Apostolos, Petra et Paolo, Onibus Sanctis et Bobis Fratres, qui applicabili mis cogitazione, verbo et opere. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Deo precor Beata Maria Semper Virginem, Beata Michael Mercangelum, Beata Ioanni Baptistam, Sanctus Apostolus Petro et Paulum, Omnes Sanctus et Vos Fratres, Orare pro mea Domium Deum Nostrum, Miseriatum Nosi Omnipotens Deus et Dimitris Pecatis Nosis, Perducat Nos et Vitam Eternam, Amen. Aviculis Peccatorum Sorum et Solvat Nos, Omnipotens et Misericordus Domus, Amen. Our second talk is about beginning again and again. And, uh, Right now, so the bus has traveled and we are in the uh, Mount of the Beatitudes. The, the guys have left, so I will be just finishing this and I'll be following them. Uh, the, the Beatitudes, uh, blessed are they, our Lord said, no? and he mentions uh, the characteristics of those who are blessed. Blessed are the peacemakers, blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, etc. And uh, uh, I have just changed my script now. Uh, to my right, I see the Lake of Tiberias, and behind me is the uh, the Beatitudes. And now, uh, just a thought comes to mind. Beginning again and again, we try as much as possible to always be cheerful whenever we we are discouraged or we fall or we are not able to fulfill our resolutions. To begin again and again doesn't just mean that when we fall, we get up and begin. No. But really, the calling to be a saint, and our Lord uh, refers to that as a beata, blessed are you, is uh, the task of every day. Even if we do not fall, we begin always, to begin again and again. No? So our Father told us about this because He wanted the, the struggle in the spiritual life to be something that is dynamic. And that so that there is always improvement, that there is always growth. And this only happens if we have the mindset of always beginning anew, of being open to the inspirations of the Holy Spirit and always eager to learn something from everyone, from our norms, from our prayer, from our reflections, from our meditation, so that we can practice them in our life. So, uh, being here in the Holy Land made me realize that I 
I I have to know more about the life of Christ. Of course, uh, it, it's good that you see here the physical places that our Lord had visited. But then again, I think of those many, many more people who may not have gone here or who will never be able to go here but have reflected so much on the gospel that they know our Lord, they know the Holy Land more than we who have been here. Because they have reflected and have internalized and have prayed about everything that they have read in the gospel. Every day, learning something new, beginning to read the gospel every day, always eager to learn something. As our father said, even if we have prayed or rather read the, the New Testament many times, we, we learn something new all the time. We are not able to exhaust all the beautiful things we read in scripture. And uh, this, this attitude of beginning again, of being eager to absorb all the, the touchings and inspirations of grace in us so that we're able to see something new, something we realize that we have not known before something that we have not uh, uh, reflected on before, a, a new light that suddenly gives us a better perspective about the things that happen in our lives, in our spiritual lives, in our apostolate. So let us foster that attitude of being a, a child who begins again, who when he falls, gets up with a lot of encouragement from from the formation that we have, from the norms that we do, from Mass, Holy Communion, and Confession, may this spur us. May all the means of formation, may all the norms, and all the beautiful things we do inspire us to keep wanting to start again. To begin uh, is not only for the newbies, but even for us who have spent uh, many years, many decades in the world. When we foster this attitude of beginning and beginning again, then our our uh, uh, horizons will be fresh. No, our uh, our mindsets our mindsets will always be open to new things, new things that we will see as beautiful, new things that we will see as uh, inspiring, something that can spur us, something that can uh, drive us and fire us to be able to spread the gospel. To all the world. Okay, so uh, I will end here now, and uh, you just pray the precious on your own. Uh, I I have many stories for you here from the Holy Land, and I hope that when I come back there, let's uh, let's have a get together, uh, or even a film showing. I, I will try to make it something that will be special for us, uh, and I also hope that all of you will be able to visit here. Uh, the place where our Lord lived. He wants to do uh, either a seminar or a retreat in Saxony.